Well hey guys, you join me on Drive It Day 2021 and I'm following Phil currently and uh, we've got a few members of my local TR group and we're off on a little road trip to Fairy Meadows. So let's see how we get on. So we've made it here to Fairy Meadows, I've got Chris behind me, I've got uh, Phil leading up front, big meadow to the right hand side, hopefully we'll park up and have a look around all the cars. So I made it here to Ferry Meadows all right, there's Phil's car, Phil's here. This is my beauty. This is beauty. The orange beast. The orange machine, yeah. nicknamed Ruggle because of the number plate. That's it. So just walking down through all the different cars we've got. We've got my one here, I've chickened out, I'll put my soft top up because it's a bit chilly today. So Phil Chilly? Been... Chilly? I don't think I've really got the wood. <laughs> Look, I mean, Phil's been brave, you know, he's, he's got his top down. But, I have uh... got the breeze, the wind blocker thing. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got uh, Chris, who's next to us. He's been in one of my videos before now with the alternator. Lovely TR6, yeah, that. It's a nice position, keeps it well. Yeah, he does. You know, you look underneath the bonnet, it's all painted, it's all immaculate. Next to Chris, we've got Andy, who's just playing around with his... Uh, yeah, Tonic cover. Tonic cover. Which has never been on yet, it so first like time. It ever will, <laughs> we'll go have a quick look. <laughs> we'll go have a quick look at uh, Andy's car. <laughs> so this is a nice one in my local group, and it's uh, quite an original one, there, isn't it, Andy? Uh, it is, uh, but it is not original under the bonnet. Right. It's this one's got power steering, and yep. everybody goes like that. <laughs> at the end of the day, you've got to make the car drivable Andy's for yourself. Had a lot of wiring stuff done to it to make it safe yeah so it doesn't burst in the flames. so you've got lots of relays and stuff like that yeah, right. that's it is that all in all good to go so this is uh, John Martin's car a nice uh, TR4 or is it a TR4A I'd have to look at the suspension I think we'd have to look at the the rear but I think John's had this car for uh, almost from new hasn't he yeah he's had it for a long time yeah so That's yeah John's also got a TR6 that he's actually um, rebuilding at the moment which he's had stuff to wear in a shed for quite some years um, this is the traitor of the group <laughs> and he'll like that Tony he used to have a TR4A but it had solid rear axles an American one that's converted to rely um, to uh, right hand drive um, he's recently sold that or around about two years ago sold it and brought this lovely Trump stag, so traitor Tony. Yeah, he's nice, <laughs> but he's a nice guy. Cars, yep. Nice engine, nice noise right. they make. That's right. Now moving on to Jeff's Triumph's TR5. This is a genuine TR5. Yeah. The real McCoy. Not just a badge, it actually is a TR5. That's right. Beautiful. So it's not a 250, it is the real McCoy. And it's a gorgeous car. And he's on about getting um, wire wheels on it soon. So that should look lovely. I think so, you know, especially, you know, you've got the mohair hood with it and stuff like that, so it's a lovely car. And then last in the lineup is, now I can't complain because I've got an MGV. <laughs> so this is Jeff's friend? Yeah, Brian. 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 This is their, uh, we were going to get a TR6 badge on the front, but the time went in time. <laughs> Uh, we don't discriminate in our group. The black sheep in the group. That's so. right. We don't discriminate because we've got a stag as well. So you know, and it's a lovely car. You know, and I can't be against MGBs because I've got one myself. I think they're great little motors. No, it's all good. We like classic cars. We like all old cars. Don't Definitely. So we're going to go and grab a bit of food now, are we, Phil? A coffee and a, a sausage sarnie with brown sauce. That sounds good to me. <laughs> well, that's it uh, for the day. Um, comment to the Battle of Britain at the moment we're either going to stand down or blow up what's it to be we're waiting on Phil to pay for his car parking fee so well he's just finished now he's started up hopefully we should be on our way well that was Fairy Meadows not a lot to see other than our own cars I mean there's a lovely lake that you can walk around there's an M Valley Railway uh, unfortunately I didn't get much of that on film uh, Nem Valley Railway as far as I'm aware isn't open at the moment just gone over it just there um, but it might be worth coming back during the summer and having a look round a little bit more so we're on our way home now anyway Phil's leading again I've got Chris behind and behind that we've got Tony with his Triumph Stag
little overtake there on Phil. Let's see if he does it back to me. There he goes. <laughs> See if we can get Chris to go past. What a beauty! <laughs> okay, catching up with them, and it looks like I'm leading. How are we doing there, Phil? I am, yeah. <laughs> okay. nice when there's only a few of you out in these classic cars you know at the moment we've just got three of us on the way back on the way out there was I think there was eight of us or so but three is a nice sort of number okay we're gonna be losing Phil here Sally ho okay so it's just me and Chris left on the way home Tony's about a mile behind us in the trunk stag with his missus and yeah all in all it's just been a really good day out you know it's just good to get out considering what's going on in the world at the moment so i'm going to ask you guys what have you been up to during driving day 2021 as always leave a comment in the box down below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video take care